Peter Obi finally now replies Okowa himself, says, you send your wife to represent you in churches that celebrate me. So why is there a problem? Instead of you to go there and relate with the people, do you know what it means for somebody to come to your house? That person like you, because who you be your friend, eh? distance not be barrier. Even if na bad agree, they stay, you go f and you they stay mainland or island, you go still go the place. So do you get what I mean? It will not be a distance. You will still find yourself entering the traffic, going through the hall just to be with the person because he's your friend. Why somebody that lives two streets away from you, you may not have visited the person in the last couple of weeks or months. Why? Relationship. Relationship. So this is what our very own brother, Peter Obi, is doing. Okay? This is what our very own brother, Peter Obi, is doing. He's going out there. He's relating with the church. He's having this relationship and this everything. And why some other persons are saying he cannot go. He now told them, he said, listen, you are sending your wife to represent you instead of you to go. So what, me, I'm going. I'm not sending my wife. Me, I'm relating with the people. I'm getting there. I'm doing the work. Let's get all the details. Peter Obi, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, has reacted to the governor of Delta State, vice presidential candidate PDP, who accused him of using church to get sentiment, to get popularity and to get acceptance. Obi, who is fast gaining popularity, especially on social media and all across, has made several visits to churches where he was warmly welcomed and received. In an interview with Daily Trust and selected media outlet on Wednesday, Okowa has said that church should not be dragged into politics and Peter Obi is using the church to get popularity. Reacting, the former, legal, former Anambra state governor in a statement issued on Thursday says, you sent your wife to go on and to, you know, you send your wife to go there uh, and do other things. But I am going there myself. I'm relating with the people. Why is that a problem? Why is that a problem? You have tagged me all kinds of names. I have said, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't mind. Yet the people see the truth themselves. And yet you are tagging me. Why is that a problem? What is the problem here? What is really the problem here? So these are some of the things that are going on and everyone needs to begin to look at and seriously we need to begin to, you know, uh, understand. Peter Obi has been tagged IPOB. Peter Obi has been tagged all kinds of names. And now he cannot even go to a church. And when he goes to the church, he's not going to tell them Labour Party campaign has not begun. It's the party. You must turn to Labour Party. The truth is that Peter Obi is a driver of a movement. Okay? Whose membership and support cut across, you know, uh, all national life and is not restricted to its ge geographical location, a zone, or a particular people. Going to churches, going to different invitations, going across, visiting all kinds and all sorts of people. It's not something that some people should, you know, go ahead and begin to, you know, go ahead and begin to, you know, talk about as though Peter Obi has done what should never has been done. This guy is going out there. He's meeting with the people. He's genuinely, sincerely, okay? Genuinely, sincerely doing all he can, okay? Genuinely, sincerely doing all he can. And so, we, you know, it, it is what it is. We cannot afford to allow this to continue. People should stop castigating Peter Obi. If you have a point you want to make, make it and make it clear. Don't go between, don't be hiding here and there. Okay? We don't be hiding here and there. And so we, we need to really discuss these things and quickly look at things and ensure that truth is being dispensed because at the end of the day, we cannot afford to allow lies to cover us because some people, you know, are scared or worried or feel that they are losing grip or losing a hold. And so they want to use other people shine to shine. If you want to shine, go ahead and shine. Little B is not your, it's not your yastic. Whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. You know, go ahead and do your own thing. 
you know, PDP, APC, travel abroad if you want to travel. Very so, I mean, they've told Peter Obi already not to travel abroad, that uh, he should go to the diaspora, he should go and meet people there, and uh, he should go to, I beg your pardon, I say diaspora, he should go to the grassroots, he should go to the villages, he should go to the, the, the you know, the, the, lo the, the, the local area rather than going to churches. Right? Very soon, they're telling him, make you know, Waka again. They will tell him not to even breed uh, again very soon. That would be the new command and the new dispensation that they will they will put on Peter will be. The drive on Amon and still travel. Travel now. The road open now. Travel now. So there are all kinds of things going on out there. Honestly. It's sad that Peter will be oh, he just happens to be the one taking all the bonds. You know. Whether you like it or not, the guy did not ask anybody. He didn't ask anybody to come, you know, and stay with him. People are sane for themselves and have decided to make a choice. In the face of all that is happening, people have decided to make a choice. Okay, they've decided. They've decided. Say no, we, we, we will, you know, you, you know, we, 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 we will have to decide what we want to do in the face of all this. We can't allow it. Not anymore. Not anymore. So uh, it is. It is sad. I am loyal to any candidate who is ready to make a change for Nigeria. Not for a particular candidate. That no. If you are ready to, to make a change in this country, if you are ready, if you are going to work at it, if you, are going to, if you are going to bring Nigeria out of the present predicament, if you are going to work for the people, I am with you. I am loyal. I am one of yours. But if you are not going to work for the people, if you are not going to do anything to make Nigeria a better place, why should I stay with you and allow you to come there and destroy the nation in no small way? Am I a wise person? Am I a wise person? The answer is no. So all these uh, things we're doing have to come to an end. Peter will be, you know, must, we, we, must, we must look at it together. And if it's the man we, we, we've all been waiting for, please do everything in your, you possibly can to ensure that Peter will be, get that very desired, get to that position. He's abroad now, getting everyone on board to say, you know what? Yes, we can. Let's make that move. Let's let's bring Nigeria out of the current, you know, predicament. He said something. He said he went to investigate. Why is it that we cannot have a constant electricity supply? He said what he found out, he will, he will leave it confidential. He said because if he says it, ah, there will be a lot of issues. You know, there are some things better left unsaid. It's better left unsaid. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news remember you have a voice let us speak out for the right candidates you don't want to send your you don't want to do the right thing but you don't make another person stand for what is right not be so bye for now